Christmas season is all about being with family, gathering at parties, and giving and receiving gifts. But inevitably, that holiday cheer can lead to some uncomfortable situations. Here with advice on how to get through it all is psychologist Elizabeth Lombardo, the author of A Happy You, and psychiatrist and today contributor Gail Saltz. Good to see you guys. Good to be here. Oh, so, Elizabeth, you know, we, everybody loves the holidays, but some of us look forward to it with a little bit of dread just because of what may come up with your family. Yes, yes, and a lot of times we're not with our family except for over the holidays, and so it can dredge up those experiences that they had in the past that can be a little stressful. And, and Gail, you say you can measure the discomfort by the gap between what you wish for and what's really going on. Well, I think everybody goes into the holidays with those magical thoughts from before and think this is going to be wonderful and I love to be together. And while that's partially true, that high expectation means there's going to be this gap between that and what actually happens. And that's what ends up being disappointing and making it uncomfortable and mm -hmm. awkward. And let me say that I think this is the rule. This is not the exception. Yeah. When you go and you are with family and it's exciting and it's tense and you're all packed together, something's going to happen. <laughs> Just expect it. Expect so it. So it's, it's how do you deal if, with if it? If you're ready for it, then you're not going to be as disturbed by for it. For example, Elizabeth, you get, get to somebody's house and they, you, you, you've got certain diet restrictions or for whatever reason and you're being offered food that you know you don't want to eat. Right, right. I think it's important to do th two things. Respect the host and respect yourself. So respect the host because the host wants to know that the time and the energy and the effort that they put into this was worth it. So taste what it is. Tell her how great it is. You know, say how wonderful everything is, but also respect yourself in terms yeah, of what you can you know, eat. Food is love. Mm -hmm. And it's that they're trying to love you. Yeah when they stuff you and you just have to say you know I do, thank you I do feel loved but I also love my body and my mm -hmm. health but you also when you get talk about family members there's always everybody's got one family member that pushes that button only just, one well I'm being generous <laughs> I was gonna say at least one at least one so how do you handle that yeah. no, you, you know you're gonna butt heads you with know what's person. gonna happen have a few lines ready to frankly shut them down. Mm -hmm. The truth is that if they feel they can say, you know, oh, are, you're not married yet? Oh, you gained a little weight? Oh, your son isn't working? It's okay to say, you know what, this isn't the place. I, you know, I don't want to talk about that now. Or that's quite but enough. But you don't want to make a scene. You don't want to make a scene because you're not going to solve anything there and you can completely devolve the holiday, which would be a shame, and then take it up with them later. Mm -hmm. why, why did they need to do that? But at the time, just, just close it down. Oh, Elizabeth, you get into the, uh, the, the big room yes. and there you see across the way that person that you know you don't get along with. Yes. Do you avoid them? Do you What, what do you do? Yes, avoid them. Mm -hmm. You don't have to talk to everyone. <laughs> you don't have to, and that's okay. And I think, too, if you're stuck with someone who you have to spend time with who you don't really like, Try to figure out certain topics or even activities that you can do together so that you don't have to go. You can even ask the host if you know in advance. You can say, please don't, don't seat me next to someone. So that is okay. What about the relative that you know is inevitably going to hit the eggnog really hard? Yeah, and that will definitely be inevitable because celebrating for many people equals alcohol and tension, which is what we're talking mm -hmm, about, equals mm -hmm. more alcohol. It is your responsibility as the host to not let people get completely sloshed in your home. Mm -hmm. It's it's not good for the the relationship. But how do you cut it's not the safe. person off? So you really first of all have food out first. Oh, if they have food in their stomach, they're less likely to be get sloshed. And when you're serving, at a certain point, it's okay to say, you know, this is. I'm cutting you off. We and, just and have to stop here. Really quickly, somebody gives you a gift at your party. You don't have one. To give uh, back. You know what? This is a situation where words. Can be your gift. You can, if you instead of getting embarrassed and closing down, say, "Thank you, I really appreciate, it. and you mean so much to me." Give them those lovely words, and you will feel that you've created an equal gift. All right. yeah. Thank you yeah. so much, Elizabeth Lombardo, thank you. Gail Saltz. Thank you, and you mean so much to me.